you know, I'm really grateful for my time in seminary. I learned so many important lessons. I learned disciplines. I got knowledge. I made friends and relationships, developed vision for my life. But I remember something that happened in seminary totally outside the academic setting that became a very important learning for me. I was married, a young wife. I wanted to do well in ministry and I wanted to do well in my marriage and family life. And I could tell already that that was going to be a challenge. We had an opportunity to go to a wedding in a church in New Jersey, and it was just a wonderful church. I met the pastor and his wife and his five children, and they were, they were strong in their faith. They were doing well as a family, doing well as a church. Very impressive. And so I pulled the pastor aside and I said, I'm just really impressed by what I see of your ministry and your church and your family. And I wonder if you could tell me, how can I do? And I wonder if you could tell me, how can I succeed in my family and in my church at the same time? How can I stay on top of them both? Because I know it's going to be a challenge. He burst out laughing at me and he said, you can't. He said, no, my experience is you're either doing a good job with your family or doing a good job with your church or you're not doing a good job with either one. But he says there are times are few and far between when you're on top of your work and on top of your family life. Now, that may not be the most important lesson I've ever learned <laughs> since I got out of seminary, but it has helped me so much over the years when I've been working so hard and trying so hard to get on top of everything. And you know what? I've just learned you're never going to be on top of everything. Things are never going to be exactly the way you want them to be in these major areas of your life. You have to accept that. You have to trust God that He's in charge. And, and you do what you can do to please God and obey Him and serve Him in both your family life and in your church life. And in the end, you've done all that you could and you have to trust the rest to God.